Hey everybody, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be how I told my parents, my friends, my family, pretty much everyone I'm close to about my pregnancy. And towards the end, I'm going to give you all some advice on how to tell your parents. So this is a little bit more of a serious and touchy topic but I wanted to make this video and hopefully help someone out while sharing my experience. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I wrote everything down kind of in order so that I can stay on track and stay in order. So um, hopefully this video isn't too long. So yeah, I'm just gonna jump right in with how I told my mom first. So in my How I Found Out video, I told you all that I found out I was pregnant four days before my move-in day for college. So I was already pretty nervous about going to college an hour and a half away, and on top of that, I had just found out I was expecting. So pretty crazy, but I still decided to go and finish my first freshman semester of college, and I will make a whole other video about how that went. and how my pregnancy kind of tied into that since I didn't get to share my first trimester with you all. So I did decide to go and I talked to my doctor about it. He said as long as I planned on coming home often to go to my OB appointments and get my prenatal care and give birth in my hometown, then I could still go. So that is why I decided to go. I had also put money into it already and I had prepared for it for months and months and I just wanted to get that college experience even though I didn't really get to experience college life to the fullest because I was pregnant but I'm still glad I went and got that experience because I may never really get it again. Alright so back to how I told my mom I was pregnant. I didn't tell her until a few weeks into the first semester and that is because I wanted to have a plan before I told her and I didn't just want to come out and say I'm pregnant. Like I wanted to have a plan of how I was going to tell her and what I was going to tell her. And it did take me a while to decide that, but I finally did. And that's when I decided that I was going to tell her. And this is where I wish I did things a little bit differently, but I'll explain all of that later. So um, I was going to tell her Labor Day weekend so I would be at home and be able to tell her face to face because I feel like that's the best way to do it. But I was sitting in my biology lecture one day and I guess the feelings just came over me all at once and I felt like I was going to have a panic attack. I was shaking. I was basically crying. So I felt like at that time I just needed to tell her I was holding it in for so long and that was the day I, I just felt like she needs to know so um of course I needed to step out so I kind of just like snuck out of my lecture and I sent her a pretty lengthy text I don't remember what was said but I did text her because I knew she was at work and I didn't know whether I should call her or not of course I could have waited until later to call her but at that time I just felt like I needed to tell her so I texted her and she called me pretty much immediately and she was in tears it was horrible it was the worst thing I've ever had to do and I felt horrible I was crying she was crying I don't remember what was said or anything but it was just a really hard um, conversation so of course you know I was apologizing and everything and she was just crying and it was it was really bad but that was her first reaction it was really hard because i was so used to talking to my mom every day while i was away and for the next couple days we didn't really talk that much but i didn't end up asking her if i could go home that weekend and she said yes of course so my dad came to pick me up and i went home at that point he did not know i was pregnant he had no idea so he just thought i was visiting a little bit early so that night me and my mom got to talk more in detail about everything so it was a little bit easier after that but it was still a pretty hard weekend because we were both still emotional and we were trying to act as normal as possible because my brothers and my dad did not know anything 
So, um, my mom decided to schedule me an appointment with an OB, and this kind of ties into where I told my dad because I did not tell him until after that first appointment because, you know, I wanted to make sure everything was okay first and also think about how I was going to tell him too because that was going to be a lot harder. I didn't tell my dad until after my first appointment. I don't know how many weeks I was. Maybe it was 11 or 12, something like that. And I was actually not the one to tell my dad. My mom did, but it was another weekend where I was home. I think it was a couple weeks after Labor Day weekend. So towards the end of September. And my mom told him for me. But we all did get to sit down and talk about everything all together. So that was really good to be able to do, even though that was pretty rough. So um, my parents, they were pretty much, you know, not really angry, but I guess heartbroken because I guess they wanted better for me. My parents always raised me to, you know, not, I don't want to say like not have sex, but like wait until I was with the right person and be like smart about it and everything. And I just feel like I did everything wrong. That's just how I was raised. And to, I guess, talk about it with at least my mom so that she would know what's going on and like she didn't really know about this and the fact that I was sexually active so um, that kind of hurt her and the fact that I didn't tell her right away just created some more extra hurt feelings so she was pretty heartbroken my dad was um, not angry but I guess more disappointed and that was really hard things have gotten better they're not perfect and I'm 30 weeks pregnant, but I'm sure when my daughter gets here, they will be in love with her. That is pretty much how I told my parents, and I wish I did things differently. I wish I had been the one to tell my dad. I wish I had told my mom sooner, and I wish I had told her about the guy and the fact that I was sexually active with him before all this happened, and I just wish I shared more with her because Seeing her hurt because of that was really hard for me too, but that's how everything happened. And um, I'm gonna share my advice a little bit later. I told my brother after my 20 week anatomy scan and he was kind of oblivious to everything. He didn't really know anything at all, even though my parents knew. I didn't really know how to tell him, so I waited until my scan and I just walked into his room one night and showed him the pictures and I said, I need to tell you something, you're going to be an uncle. And um, he was pretty supportive. It wasn't like as hard as telling my parents. So it was nice to get that off my chest and just have him know. I feel like he was really sweet about it and he was supportive and everything. So that was good. Now everyone's different about how they announce their pregnancy to their friends and family and everything this is how i made my little announcement i guess if that's what you want to call it um well first i told my close friends so they knew from the very beginning most of them well i don't have a lot of close friends but i guess the couple close friends i have they knew before my mom even knew so i didn't make my big i guess social media announcement until very recent i think it was like a couple weeks ago is when i posted my ultrasound picture and i just said like new beginning so a short and sweet caption i didn't make a huge caption about how everything happened and how i'm a teen mom and all of that that's just not what i wanted to do because i didn't feel like i needed to explain myself to everybody on facebook so um i just said new beginning with the heart and the ultrasound picture and um, I got a lot of reactions to it, of course, like congratulations and all of that. So that was really nice, but um, I waited so long to do it because I wanted to make sure I was ready. I didn't just want to put it out there and be like, hey world, I'm pregnant. I wanted to make sure that I was prepared for everyone to know and prepared for some of the judgment that I would receive, even though I really didn't get much, if any. But everyone's different about how they um, announce 
for a pregnancy. Some people do it right away. Some people wait until they're 20 weeks at least or a certain amount of weeks. Some people wait until really late like I did. Some people don't even announce at all. They just have a baby and everyone just finds out eventually. But that's how I did it. But my advice on that is just wait until you're ready because you may get some judgment. You want to make sure you're prepared for that. You should just wait until you are ready to say what you need to say and say it how you want to say it. So here's the part of the video where I'm going to give my advice on how to tell your parents because I know this is very hard, especially for teenage girls and young girls like myself. I know it was very, very hard for me to tell my parents and um, everyone's different. Everyone's circumstances are different. Some parents are more easygoing than others. Some are very strict. I feel like mine are in the middle, but as far as getting pregnant, and watching their baby have a baby, that's something they never would have expected from me. So of course their reactions were different than some parents who have maybe been through, you know, being a teen mom or um, aren't as strict and as sheltering. Here is my advice to you all. Number one is to decide what you're going to do, whether that be keeping your baby, adoption, or some people even choose abortion. I know that's very controversial but um, everyone has their different beliefs on that. But just decide what you're going to do before you tell your parents. You don't want them to pressure you into that decision. You wanna make that decision yourself. So make sure you are firm in what you believe and firm in what you want to do for your baby and yourself. Number two is make a plan before you tell your parents. If you're keeping your baby, and depending on how old you are, are you going to finish school? If you're going to finish school, how are you going to go to school with the baby? Do you have a job? Do you need to get a job? How are you going to afford childcare? Just everything. There's so many questions that you should think about and answer to yourself before you tell your parents. So you want to sound mature and sound like you know what you want to do. Number three is if you need to, um, tell another family member before you tell your parents, tell your significant other or baby's father um, before you tell your parents so that maybe they can be there with you while you tell them. I know that's kind of a comfort thing to have someone with you or someone to be able to help you talk through it with your parents. I told my parents by myself. It's different for everyone. You can pick who you want you can tell them by yourself. It's just all up to you. But if you need that security, then you can always do that. Number four is very important, and it is tell your parents as soon as possible. You all may be saying, well, Alicia, you didn't do that. Well, no, I didn't do this. But I feel like this is, this can be like a teaching experience. And um, yeah, so. I advise you all to tell your parents as soon as possible. Don't wait super long. I know it can be scary and that's why a lot of girls wait as long as they do, but you want to get your prenatal care as soon as possible. And telling your parents as soon as possible should tie into that because they are the ones who are most likely going to be financially supporting you with that. Also, that shows them that you trust them. So, I mean, you don't have to tell them before you take a test unless that's something you want to do. That can be a good thing to do so that you're not like going through that alone. But if you'd rather wait until after you know for sure that you're pregnant, then tell them as soon as possible after that. But like I've said so many times already, everybody's different on how they tell their parents. Every parent's reaction is going to be different but your parents should love you no matter what. I always thought my parents were gonna kick me out if they ever found out I was pregnant, but I'm still here. They're still supporting me financially. They still love me. They're still going to love their granddaughter. And I know that everything's going to be okay in the end, even if it's still not right now, everything will be okay. And that is what I want you all to know. If you all need someone to talk to, I'm open to giving out my contact information, so just let me know in the comments. But I hope this video was helpful. I guess that's pretty much it. So if you have any more questions, leave them below. And um, 
yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you all next time.